All right, there goes another project. I love sewing in my sewing space, especially with natural light. But at this time of day, sometimes the sun can really beam in on my eyes when I'm at my machine. And also, I just really wanna try on this top right here, right now. So I think I need some curtains in my sewing space. But looking at my fabrics, Believe it or not, I have plans for all of these fabrics that don't include curtains. So I'm thinking I want to use a bed sheet. That's a really fun, big blank slate that I can repurpose from and utilize for my studio. I'm just not finding anything I love for a curtain. And I like these as my bed sheet. I found this, which I love, but I love it so much I want to make clothes out of it. So I think I'm going to head over to the thrift store to find a fun bed sheet that I can use for my studio. I love this fun and flowery sheet that I found at the thrift store because it has all the colors that I love, especially all the greens and the pinks, and it has that nice white backdrop so it won't interrupt the flow of the room and the white wall that the window is on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip my bed sheet in half so I have two separate curtains and then I'm going to measure from the top of the window to the bottom of the window adding about five inches for the finishing edges and I'm gonna have my curtain pieces so I'm just going to measure clip and rip. And what I love about this bed sheet too is that I don't have to finish the bottom hem because ta-da, this one already has such a cute one. So I'll just have to finish the top and the outer side. I discovered such a cool way to insert quote unquote grommets into the top of my curtains. Look at this fun applique embroidery design. If you find a solid color bed sheet or fabric, you can do this along the top of your curtain to act as grommets that you thread through the curtain rod. But since my fabric is so busy in itself, I'm still gonna utilize this design, but I'm gonna make it just the flower outline. So I am going to go and start to hoop and mark my sheet fabric and then send that embroidery design over to my machine and stitch out six different holes and embroidery designs on each top of the curtain and that will make such a cute design. It looks like this is gonna take a little bit, so why don't I go get Julian and we can get that curtain rod installed so as soon as this is done, we can hang it and enjoy it. for hanging and thanks puppy oh always keeping me company <laughs> while I just trim the corner so I just cut in the middle of my appliques and then I just go around the circle and cut away my excess fabric ready to go on the curtain rod now <laughs> Oh, it looks Wow. That looks so cool! 